open the continued public hearing for the trails at Legacy Farms. One is an amendment to approve site plan and two is an amendment to uh, master plan special permit for heritage pro properties. So moved. For a second. second. Oh, second. Thank you. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? So I will let you guys introduce briefly and then we'll ask John for his comments and I think we'll probably be okay uh, Vin Gately from Heritage Properties uh, can I say one thing I'm sorry before we start um, I got feedback at the early part of the meeting before everybody was here that many of us are hard to hear for the folks in the audience that's the only reason I stopped you so as much as possible speak up when you're speaking so people can hear us when they attend Go ahead. Great, thank you. Uh, Vin Gately from Heritage Properties. I'm the developer of the trails. And uh, we have submitted uh, an amendment to the site plan um, at the opening hearing two weeks ago. Um, I explained that the need for this site plan revision um, centers around the, the article that was passed at town meeting back in May and our original site plan that was approved by this board in May of 2018 uh, had um, a different configuration of buildings. Uh, we had at the time 21 singles, 43 duplexes, and 21 triplexes. The triplexes were scattered around the site, uh, all four of our phases and the reason for that is that we are required under the the, the zoning for the trails uh, what well, we were required to build 10% uh, of the units as affordable and basically one out of ten uh, needed to be built as we were building the, the market rate units that's why we had these triplexes located pretty evenly dispersed around the entire, uh, the entire project of what was 180 units. Um, <clears throat> uh, as a result of town meeting, we went back to the drawing board because we no longer could build those affordable units at the trails. Um, they would not be approved by the state because of one of the restrictions that was in place in the zoning that said that nobody under 18 would be allowed to reside at the trails. So <clears throat> uh, since that restriction is still in place, uh, town meeting went on to pass, I think, Article 37, which, uh, as I understand, gives the developer uh, an opportunity to either build those affordable units elsewhere in town or make a a payment in lieu so I believe the way it's going to work the timing is still the same every time I have nine uh, uh, let's see um, units that we close on occupancy permits then the tenth one will have to be either paid and I know that's a matter of business you people are going to be talking about um, whether you know payment in lieu versus uh, building and delivering affordable units elsewhere in town. So <clears throat> anyways, we went back to the drawing board now that we knew the affordable units could not be uh, built at the trails and we um, eliminated as many of the triplexes as we could. So the new plan in front of you um, increases the number of single units from 31 to 62, the duplexes from 43 to 49, and then the decreases on the triplexes, they went from 21 to five. If you do the math, we've gone down in units from 180 to 175. And we think that now based on uh, the project that it is now, all market units, that's certainly a, um, a better use. We don't have big mass buildings, there are five of them, not 21, and um, none of our engineering, all of our engineering is basically the same. Um, all the roads are the same, the footprint within 
which the 180 units, the original 180 units were being built um, is the same footprint. Now we have 175, so I guess you could say it's a little less dense, but all the drainage calculations, grading, everything is basically the same. So the engineering hasn't really changed, it's just the configuration of the buildings. And I think since the last meeting, um, my engineer, Peter Bemis, has gone back and forth with Bader, the peer review, and um, they've come up with the final plan set, which I have right here. And I, from what I understand is that this afternoon, Phil uh, Paredes from Bader has told us that everything is fine. So um, I'm sure John can vouch for what he's heard, but that's pretty much in a nutshell what we're trying to do here. And we've been in a spot where we haven't been able to start units because this change in buildings is um, is kind of created a little havoc where we just, until this new plan is approved, we can't really go forward and, and build very many of the units. Um, and we have several buyers that, are, uh, that have bought units according to the new plan. And once we get this approved, hopefully we can uh, get moving with construction. Just uh, Peter Barberi, Fletcher Tilton, on behalf of uh, uh, Heritage Properties. Uh, just from the point of the decisions, uh, we work with John and Town Council. Uh, the decisions I believe you have, both in the amendment of the special permit and the amendment of the site plan, are acceptable to us. Uh, so I think, having seen those last emails, I think we're set. John. Yep. Uh, so the. Um the plans were received today, and as I explained to some people earlier, um, there was really no change to what was in the plans aside from addressing one of Phil's comments. The reason why they gave new plans was because Bowler was the original engineer, and they had this 45 sheet set, um, and Beta basically, they're the ones that are gonna review it when the construction is going on, and they thought it would be more helpful to incorporate the changes that they presented at the last meeting into that 45 sheet set. So they'll, all they have to do is carry one plan set around. They don't have to carry two. Um, so the new plans that they have, it's essentially the same. It's just now with the Bowler original information as well. Um, and then <clears throat> as Vin and Peter said, we went through with town council to go through these two decisions, the site plan and the special permit. Um, it's mostly just changes if they're not typographical or administrative, to address the Article 37 items, changing the number of <coughs> to 175, changing the number of affordable units to 17, um, and just putting in new references and whatnot for that type of thing. Uh, there was some discussion about the registered land issue, or um, restricted land issue, mm -hmm. which is the parcel that the Marathon Museum is gonna go on. That was not included in this because uh, Roy is going to do that as a separate amendment to the overall master plan. <coughs> um, the restricted land was changing the definition, which was approved at town meeting. Right. Was that ever in this? So the town council had wanted to kind of kill two birds with one stone and put it in this, but then we thought since that parcel isn't really part of this project, right. it would be cleaner to just do it in the overall Perfect. master plan special Perfect. permit. Yeah, it's not a portion of the trails project, but right. it is subject to the master plan special yes. permit. Yes. So, okay. Um, Do you have any um, ongoing concerns? So the only concerns would be that we haven't really had a chance to review the plan to make sure it's all uh, mm -hmm. okay. I assume it is. Phil didn't give me anything. I don't know if he sent you an email saying it's okay. I didn't get that email. Yeah. He, he didn't seem concerned about it. There was just the one edit about the retaining wall. Right. Um, so I would just want to get the confirmation from Phil that yeah. that was addressed and that the plans are 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but other than that, I don't think there's any other issues. Okay. So a very complex issue that took a lot of time at town meeting has been, uh, has been brought to a point where we can, uh, can actually approve it. I would suggest I would feel more comfortable, and I'm asking you, if we take our votes um, to approve pending final uh, authorization on beta. those yeah. plans that you just simply melded. Anybody have any questions? Just have one question yes. about that. Is would would beta be 
comfortable doing that. And the only reason I say this is sometimes they'll make comments or recommendations that I don't, I'm just a little bit apprehensive that they, I mean, I, I guess if they, if they say no further issues, then we're, we're clean. But I just worry that if there's anything else they have questions about or potential concerns, then I'm not sure how we would address that. Hmm. So I feel like it's like an administer, like it's a dotting the I crossing I the so. T thing. Um, so I appreciate the question, but let's let's go around and then see if we can solve it in a way that everybody feels comfortable. Yeah. Sorry, Chair. Beta made the comment that they wanted to put these together. So if they can be satisfied that they've been put together, I think that's really the only resolution. Okay. Uh, I don't. I can direct Phil to not get too picky about it and just say. Did this meet the criteria that you set forth well, to make that comment? I feel like if he has any issues, you would be comfortable addressing them, right? Yeah, it's, a, yeah. it's a matter of making. Yeah, our point. engineer is saying that the two of them spoke, they settled it out. It's just that you didn't get I mean, the email. There's no advantage to you not being satisfied right. or, right. or uh, right. comfortable no, with the plans. So let's think of the wording if that you might be comfortable with, Bob. Uh, the yeah, I guess not knowing any better. Like the only thing I would. I question is we're going like fundamentally 95 foundations to 116 foundations so it's either so it's less homes for people but it's more holes in the ground and without beta's input on that impact of that i i, I don't know beta reviewed that and so okay basically what they were doing is some of the um if you look at the site plan some of the buildings were triplexes mm -hmm. and some of them were duplexes and some were simplexes. Now there's more simplexes and duplexes and fewer triplexes. Mm -hmm. So that's why there's more foundations because you would have one foundation for three units yep. and now you're splitting them up into, you know, individual foundations. So beta reviewed all the drainage and everything like that previously and had no further comments. Okay. I think that was the main thing I was wondering about. Mm -hmm. I have no comments. Yeah, I'm comfortable moving forward with the condition that beta, um, the beta will indicate that their um, concern was met. Any um, comments from the public on this? Go ahead. You have to come forward. Can I sit down? You can actually sit right there if you want on, at the table with us. Katie Towner, 9 Kruger Road. So um, in June, when this was discussed initially, um, there was also the question brought out about the, the testing that had not been completed, the testing that was ordered in November of 2018, which was, as of June, was not completed. The testing that was requested based on violations that occurred back last fall. So um, the requested testing hadn't been done as of June, and it's in the minutes of the June meeting that, um, that um, the developers committed to completing the testing. <clears throat> so I looked at the reports. There were some reports that were put in the um, Google folder, and um, I did not see that the requested testing was done. I, <clears throat> I saw that a grab from the um, stockpile, a sediment grab from the stockpile was tested, but that the requested testing of the basin was not performed. The sediment, there was a, um, an order for them to test the sediment from the basin, and, um, and there was no results for that posted to the, um, to the folder. So, um, so I think, you know, I think that uh, 10 months is, is more than enough time to comply with a simple order to test. And um, I don't see why we're rushing ahead with that. I mean, I haven't seen Beta's comments. You know, I don't know why. Uh, I think that the report should be looked at and that things should be followed up on, just not, you know, let's forge ahead and, and approve everything without, you know, um, I mean, was Beta's comments published so people could look at them? I haven't seen them. Did these changes? 
these changes were administrative at best and, and plan changes. Yeah, well, they're plan changes. They're moving the foundations around, like you said, and that impacts the drainage and, you know, things, I haven't seen any, uh, you know, thing that assures me that, that a proper look was taken, given, I mean, these are, you know, these are fairly significant changes, moving things around and considering um, the misses that happened first go around, you know, I think, I think it's valid to, to make sure that, that, you know, we're not just moving things around and hoping for the best, you know. I mean, where's the, the documentation that, that, you know, things were actually looked at? And, and, and this ongoing issue of the testing not being performed, you know, I, the planning board needs to address that. You know, you, you concluded at your uh, last meeting that you are the responsible body for the uh, migration of that soil. So, you know, it's you that's responsible, and you know, I, you know, why, why this testing can't be, um, you know, I mean, the, uh, you know, the, the non-compliance. You know, so I, I think you should ask the question, and and I don't think, I don't think that things should just move forward without compliance. Yeah. Just to address that through the chair, yeah. um, all the testing has been completed, submitted to conservation. Um, I believe in that June meeting there was a date given that conservation wanted the testing done. It couldn't be done over the winter. Uh, everybody agreed it was so late in the year, in November, uh, that <clears throat> it just wouldn't produce valid results. Everything was tabled until the spring. We had a, a wet spring, um, and I know as of June it had not been done, but it was scheduled, and I believe within a week, whatever the date was that conservation gave us, everything was completed, submitted, and all the testing that they asked for, including some additional testing of stockpiles, um, the basin, everything was, was tested, and if you check with conservation, you'll um, you'll see that they're satisfied with all the results. Yeah, the basin that results were not, were, not, oh, oh, oh. were not in full. Um. Repeat what you said. All they asked for, the basin, what else was tested? Uh, there was some stockpiles of loom and, and fill that they asked to also be tested. Um, so we tested that as well as the original requirement of the basin being tested. And I believe that was, if that was the June meeting, then it was probably within two weeks, mid-June, when that was all done, submitted to conservation. So that was more than two months ago. Do you have a decision from the CONCOM that they're all, they're square? Um, I'd be happy, I don't have it physically with me now. But you but have one, you have been to the CONCOM. Yes. They have. They have yes. reviewed the testing. Yes. Um, and uh, and you have a, a successful decision from them to go forward. You have uh, approval. I'm believe, asking. Yes. Yes. Perhaps your attorney knows. I, I don't know. I wasn't involved in any of the testing aspects. The only thing I can say to you is that your decisions require compliance with all other permits and regulations. None of that is changed by the amendments to these decisions. So our obligation to satisfy the Conservation Commission, this board, and everything else, there's no change from these decisions that we're talking about tonight. Mr. McDowell, I saw your hand. <clears throat> Roy McDowell from Legacy Farms. <clears throat> I fully read the reports that went to the Conservation Commission and all the reports that I read, everything was below reportable levels. So what was the result from CONCOM? I think my understanding of CONCOM is CONCOM wanted the report, they read the report, I think they were satisfied at least from what I'm told of the report and because there was nothing above reportable levels, no further action was required. All right, anybody have any 
questions about that? And there's not a letter in our packet about this. I found something there from is? Huh? There is, there isn't, no. I don't see one. I see something from May 6th from Beta. Um, I can't hear any. Sorry, there's a letter from May 6th from Beta in one of our packets from June. I'm just trying to skim through it again. Um, How's everybody feeling? I feel good with it. If you want to go ahead. I just got one additional question. Um, I know that the total number of units is decreasing from 180 to 175. Um, how does the bedroom count change? Uh, so basically, we would so since we have five less units, um, we have ten fewer bedrooms in the whole community because we are restricted to two bedrooms okay. for every unit. From the public? Sure, come on up. It is. Okay. Uh, Jane Moran, 70 East Main Street. A little bit of history. I was been involved with the Legacy Farms project since the very beginning. What was that, like 10 years ago or don't something? Even, don't even, don't oh even. God, over and done. And, <laughs> and over the years, I can honestly say that whenever I've reached out to Legacy Farms and Roy McDowell and um, whatever the other partners were in this project, they handled the issues upfront, honestly and correctly. And we're currently working on some other issues, and we are still moving in that positive direction. I would only like to add that we pay the town, pays Beta Group good money to come up with honest, factual, scientific evidence. And I would just like to say, don't throw that out with the, the bathwater. No babies with the bathwater. Correct. All right, Jane. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Um, so our decisions do require compliance with other boards. We don't typically review other boards' work here. Um, is there any is, is there any reason that does anybody feel comfortable or that it's needed to add a condition? I'm comfortable. With look forward to that additional condition on the okay. Con -con I agree. Okay. I am as well. Anybody down here? I'm I'm good with it. Okay. John, do you have any further concerns? Um, no. Comments? No. I shouldn't say concerns, but. Um, okay. Um, I will entertain a motion to, um, why is it I can't find it now? To approve the master plan special permit amendment. Um, conditional on the final sign off from beta that the plans are um, combined correctly. Does that make sense? Uh, yes, so I would say um, you're Not approving what? So are you approving this document? Or are you approving the text of the changes that are shown in the document? I think there should be some. Okay, fair enough. I was focused on the condition. Is sorry. the condition? No, it's all right. No, you you get paid good money to keep us from getting into trouble. Um, so, is that is the condition okay? Yeah. Okay. So, I would entertain a motion to approve the master plan special permit amendment as written in our packet. So, one thing that I would caution with that is since there are some possible administrative changes, namely the sheet numbers and the dates and, and uh, that kind of thing. Yeah. I would say don't approve it as plans. is, but maybe approve it substantially with the allowance for some technical and administrative changes as needed that don't change the substance of the decision. It's kind of just okay. off the cuff. <laughs> okay. One more time. Third time's the charm. Here we go. I will entertain a motion to approve the master plan special permit amendments as drafted uh, with the condition that the beta is, is comfortable signing off on the melded plans and that includes the, um, the flexibility 
to make administrative changes to ensure that the documents match the plans that beta approves. So moved. Second. Okay. Um, any further comment? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? Okay. There's one. Same thing on the site plan? Yes. Okay. So with all that language that I added after I'll entertain a motion to, um, to approve the site plan amendment conditional on beta's approval of the melding of the plans and the flexibility to make uh, administrative changes as needed should that review indicate changes. Um, I'll, that motion, I'll entertain that one. Is there a second? Second. Any further comment? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Great. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you. Um, I wouldn't mind if the board was, uh, was forwarded a copy of the, um, the testing just for our information. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yep. All right. So, um, Mariel, do you want me to add? Just there was a note about it in our packet from June 24th, and the, the letter was dated uh, May 5th from Beta, but it was in our June 24th packet. Okay. Thank you. Maybe it's not in the right folder. I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, so we have uh, got a request from the Chamberlain Whalen subdivision to continue till when, John? The 9th. So um, I will entertain a motion to continue the local action unit application discussion and recommendation to select board for Chamberlain Wayland subdivision um, to our meeting on September 9th. So moved. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Any abstentions? And just for the record, we know September 9th is really full. Mm -hmm. We know that they are going to be withdrawing 76 Main Street and have requested that time slot for this conversation. So that's how that change is being made. Do we need to close the trails public hearing? Or? Oh, thanks. I bet we do. I'll entertain a motion to close the public hearing, the continued public hearing for the trails at Legacy Farms. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Any abstentions? I think I'm going to go the whole time being chair and never remember to do that. Fine. Right. As long as you can handle all the other stuff, we're good with that, Miro. Um, is there anything else tonight? I will entertain a motion to adjourn. Second. Second. All those in favor? Second? Second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 And thank you very much for your willingness to meet again extra. Under 30 minutes. Right? <laughs>